Pro League's been awesome. Every game is different, you know? Every game is thrilling. Every game, you know, you don't know what to feel. You don't know what's around the corner. It has 75 people compared to, say, something like a 5v5 in Counter-Strike or League of Legends, and it's just way more action and personalities to capture. There's 75 really good players that are all respected on the stage, and they could all show up at any given time. It really is just all-out mayhem. And it's been amazing that 75 of my really good friends have awesome jobs in Vegas playing video games. They get to brag about it, I get to brag about it. We're all super happy. This is, it's a dream. Today is week seven of the H1ZN Pro League and we are trying to get back in top five. Coming into this week, we needed to change something within the team dynamic and that was gonna be the main shot caller. I know Crank shot calls uh, before this, so I changed to main IGL or shot caller. Are you kidding me, Diaz? It's been working really well in the practice games. They're playing fine, but they need to step it up and have a big one. What happened now? Crank's, Crank's a slob and he spilt water all over his keyboard for the second day in a row. So, oh, no. official game in 20 minutes, by the way. The crank yesterday during practice spilled a drink on his desk and nothing nothing happened. We were great. Today, he spills another drink on his desk and it fries his keyboard right before game one. So, we're like, ah. You need to get a new keyboard, quick. The uh, keyboard fried. So, like, we had to get him a new keyboard. Like, what is that guy doing, you know? Crank from Equifox says his keyboard's broken. What's your 20? What should he do? Jesus Christ. I have to babysit him, I swear. It's like an overgrown baby. Seriously. He's right there. <laughs> he did it yesterday too. No, the keyboard was last night. He spilled Rockstar on his keyboard two days in a row. Everyone's kind of like, what's going on? What, what are we going to do? And it definitely adds a little bit of story to tonight. Tonight is absolutely critical. Anything is still possible for teams like Echo Fox, Noble. It's really now or never, though, for them to make that push onto the leaderboard. We find out right now, Vegas, in three, two, one. Round one today. Oh my goodness, bro. It was a butchered game, let's be honest. Yeah, round one was awful. I grabbed a car and started driving over to get some loot. And next thing I know. Oh my God. There's the guy with the shotgun already there. And well, I was dead. We got caught out again. You know, Sweet Dreams fell a little later than that. So it's really difficult to come back from that. The first 10 minutes of the game, we were playing three up, and that's like really hard to do, especially in the safe zone we had. Indeed, and we're going to be back on board with Ooh. Echo Fox just in time to see Brock obliterated, sent back to the Shadow Row by OG Trip. We tried our best. The last player, Slot, Slot needs to get into the point. Oh. He's going to be able to pick up a kill onto Candyman. You know, we ended up getting like one, two points that game. What will Slot be able to do? This is his last stand. This is all Echo Fox has left, and it looks like this Fox has got nine lives. He's just putting shot after shot in and he is still up here. Gas is here. The Tempo Storm finally sends the Sloth packet. Really bad game. I'm pissed. Last game of the night. So in round two, we spawned on the bottom right side of the map. Bottom top right? Bottom right. Instead of spawning at the top right. We got a couple of vehicles. We got out to a spot as fast as we could. We got the spot we wanted. We fought a bunch of teams south of us. I killed Riki. Fought a bunch of teams west of us. Nightwalker is going to get eliminated there by Crank. Fought people off of a position. Keep, 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 keep pushing these f***ing guys, bro. These guys are in shambles. This gas line. Helmet on this gas line. A little hard. F*** these guys. Oh my god, right here! Got one. We dominated. Echo Fox now becoming a thorn in the side of Epsilon as they take them down one by one. Obey Alliance only gonna have lifted left up. They get that kill. You are not able to run away, Obey Alliance. Eventually ended up with the W. They're able to take home 20 points here. Very, very, very impressive performance coming out there from Echo Fox. We finally got a spot we, that we play, and look what happens, we win. I'm much happier now. Everyone was feeling down in the dumps about game one. We finish off game two, everybody's feeling great. My goodness, Jason, we had a pretty crazy night. The, the leaderboard's definitely getting shooken up here tonight. This is becoming a race to the finish. We reached our goal, we made it back to top five from seventh place, and I think we're all pretty proud of ourselves. We had two bad weeks in a row when we were kind of feeling down in the dumps. We're like, ah, we're a top team, what are we doing wrong? 
and now that we won a game in front of everybody, you know, everyone's spirits are lifted. We really needed that win. It was definitely a confidence boost, definitely a motivator. What do you feel like was the biggest difference for you guys tonight? Capitalizing on other teams fighting, playing aggressive, taking those yep. kills, shooting people in the back. How do you guys feel about your momentum going into next week? <laughs> Hopefully we could catch back up to all the top teams. You know, this isn't over yet. We're only 50 points down from first, which seems like a lot, but you know, a couple weeks ago it was something close to 80. So we're definitely closing the gap. I mean, that's what we're all here for. We're here to climb those numbers. A lot of teams are here to play and collect a paycheck, but Echo Fox is here to win. Like, we are a top team, and we want to show that to the world. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please subscribe. Booyah!